Hey, what's up guys? This is Chris the Sci-Fi Gamer, and today I got some Forge news. I like always get my information from Tom French, the lead Halo 5 Forge designer, and this week Bravo from Halo Waypoint. If you have any questions you'd like to ask Tom, go over to his Twitter at PardonTomFrench, link in the description. With that said, let's get started. So let's talk about prefabs. Prefabs will basically allow you to create something, save it, and port it into a new map. So say if you want the basic from basic, you can go into basin, group the base together, save it, then put it in your map without having to build it yourself, saving yourself a lot of time. It's such a great idea that Tom's been teasing us with for a very, very long time, and it looks like we're going to be getting it very soon. Recently, Tom sent Bravo from Halo Waypoint a tease on what we can only assume is the prefabs. The picture, as you can see, shows some natural objects all grouped together, and with the object property menu pulled up, in that menu is two options, save new and save over. So it looks like this is how we'll be able to save our prefabs. Now with a tease like this, it's safe to assume that the prefab will be up in the next update for Halo 5. This is a large step for Forge itself. It'll just make life so much easier and I'm really loving it. So next up is from the same Waypoint article. Bravo said, last weekend, we showed off a first look at the Halo 5 content browser, which has been in the works for quite some time. Like Forge itself, it's been built from scratch to ensure that it's the most powerful it has ever been. The content browser will be coming to both Xbox One and Windows 10. And now is a good time to clarify that Forge, Halo 5 Guardians Edition for Windows 10, will not require Xbox Live Gold to build and play. So it's nice to know that we'll be getting the content browser soon, and that it's going to be better than ever. Also, that you will not need Xbox Live Gold to play Windows 10 Forge Halo 5 Guardians Edition. It's something I wasn't really worried about, but it's just nice to know for those of you who want to know this information. I also am really looking forward to Forge on Windows 10. You can say what you want about 343, but they're doing a fantastic job on Halo 5's Forge. Anyways guys, that concludes this episode of Halo 5 Forge News. Be sure to leave a comment down below, tell me what you think, Facebook and Twitter links will be in the description. Also be sure to subscribe and tell your friends too as well. Have a great day or night wherever you are. And remember, keep on gaming, see you all next time.